champions, we got a brand new character to preview this time. It is going to be China DX Army. We're going to see her at 5 Star Browns. Now, obviously, I don't have her. This was sent to me for the preview. I don't get to keep her. She is a striker. If we have a look at her card, she has a coach ability at 9,000, which is take 20% less damage from green move. She has links with a DX. DX Army and Attitude Era. Only one set of gear. The first move set we're going to have a look at is the move set that they actually recommend on the forum. If you were not aware, they officially released the forum for the game. And there's a section uh, where you have all the builds for the new character they release. So we're going to try the first one they, uh, they uh, recommend in there, which is the Pedigree or the Hurricane Rana, which is a five star move. We'll try that later. So we're gonna go with the Pedigree here, which is 10 MP black move, deal 66.6K damage, and choose a three by five area to destroy. The DDT, five MP red move, deal 33.7K damage, and modify a three by three random area into multiply gems of strength two. And the Power Bomb, 8 MP red move, deal 44.8k damage, and choose a 5 by 2 area to destroy. Pretty straightforward. You're, wanna, you're gonna wanna use that DDT area to be destroyed by either of those two. Now, trainers for that, we're gonna use Sting to start with more red. Matt, so that uh, the area is gonna be of uh, strength 4 instead of 2. Zombie Taker, so that the Multiply Gem do 5% extra. And in there, they recommend using All of Fame Bree Bella, which increased the damage of Black Damage, I believe. But I don't have her, so I'm going to be using a Typhoon here, which increased the damage of Reds by 15%. Could also use NWO Ogan to help with reloading my colors. But considering we're going to have a rather big Multiply Area, I'm guessing we might not have issues reloading so i'm going with typhoon instead we'll see if it was a good call uh we're gonna go versus nikki bella now i know that strikers have an advantage over uh trickster that's the whole point of going against her the reason for that is that she has traps with metals and everything and i don't so she's got 41% uh, reduction in everything. That advantage is gonna give me 25% extra. And in my bonuses, I got 15% more health and 15% more damage from the gems from the feud bonus. So that 25 bonus plus that 15 bonus adds up to 40%, which means that it almost equals what she is preventing. So it's a good trade-off. Uh, I do have the other perks, which are 10% uh, less damage from all move, 15% more health. All color moves start with two more and uh, matching plus one. So it kind of evens out. Uh, the unfortunate of that is that she's a trickster, so she might dodge my move. So we'll see. <laughs> Let's try it. Right. I'm not gonna get it out right away because I don't really want to risk uh, most of them getting uh, destroyed by her on her turn. Now we're gonna do it. So three by three area. Right there we do have. We don't have any black, but we do have reds. That'll give us four reds back. Do it here. Right, we're gonna do that again. Only one red this time. But we have two more that we're gonna match here and we're gonna get a bunch of blacks as well.
Did a good amount of damage right there. Out. Let's make another zone. Okay, and now we're gonna pick a 3x5 area. Let's pick those. It's gonna make the call. This is probably going to be pretty damn strong when you got a few bonuses that adds to the multiplier amount. That's probably nasty with that. Alright, that worked pretty well. We're going to see the alternate version of this with the 5 star move instead of the finisher. Alright, let's have a look at the different spec. It's a small variation of what we just tried. Instead of using the black one, we're going to use black tree, which is the five star move. Is the Hurricane Rana. One MP black move deals 78.4k damage. Uh, we're going to use the two reds we just used as well. Now the trainers for that sting again to start with more red. And they recommend using Ambrose uh, to help boost that move. It is one move, so you can use it at least once every turn. Uh, and it is boosted to almost 110k. Now, my Ambrose is only 3.5k. If he was uh, 5k, he would deal 45% more, which means it would probably be around 114,000 instead of 109, whatever, similar, similar stuff. Rest of the trainer is going to be the same. Uh, I'm not sure that's actually better than using Matt, because using Matt boosts all those and really helps to recycle those moves. So I'm not convinced that's going to be better. I kind of like being able to recycle better. That's kind of better than 30k extra damage on each turn. But we'll see. Let's use that first. Can't really do anything about it. Let's take this to start recycling. Okay, we're gonna use this. Landed right on top of it. Let's hope we can get a free turn here. We did. That means we can use that again. Another 95k. Because she counters a little of it. Right, now we're going to destroy some parts. Um, I'm going to pick those because there's blacks and they're going to do more damage. Unfortunately, uh, we were not getting much out of the red. I'm going to get this here because I'll get one red here. And I'd rather get one red and one yellow than a times two for a loot box. As a five right there. I don't know if she's going to use it. Got it anyway. Trying not to break those here. Let's see if this end my turn. Yeah, figured it would. Okay, another one of those. He's out of belt.
think I like that better than the first one we tried. Just because you don't really need that finisher. First, it finish your turn. And you already have the other red that destroy an area, even though the finisher is a larger area. The red one kind of serves its purpose still. But I think I would like this better with Matt rather than Ambrose. Don't care much for the extra 30k that I'm getting from using Ambrose, but I would care about getting bigger multipliers uh, to help recycle those reds more easily to maybe get them every turn if you're lucky. So think about that. All right, let's try something else now. All right, completely different move set for China this time. It's going to be purple, purple, and black too. It is a running power slam, 7 MP purple move, uh, deal 43.2k damage and destroy 5 random black gems. The end spring back elbow, 5 MP purple move, deal 33.7k damage and make all black gems into multiplied gems of straight 2. And the Gorilla Press Drop, which is an 8 MP black move, deal 46.1k damage and choose 5 gems to make into purple gems. Trainers we're going to be using for that is Woods, although you could be using Bray Wyatt as well. The reason why I'm using Woods is because the uh, purple move costs less, so in the event that I can't get a purple or a black match, I'm going to get those purples going faster than the black if I don't get it. Also, if I don't have that many blacks and I use the purple first, though, I might be short on getting those going. But I'll get that handspring fast and put a multiplier on it. And maybe that's going to be faster than if I use the black one. So, I mean, they both work. I kind of like going with woods first. Now, I'm putting Matt already there to increase the multiplier to straight four. You could definitely use uh, Daniel Bryan to make more purple, but it is a choose five. So, I mean, you need eight. You really don't have... Like, unless there's really no purple, you're not going to have a hard time getting those purple going from that. Uh, as far as using Balor, for example, to destroy more black, well, it works for sure, but if there's not that many black, it's pretty much a waste. So I'd rather destroy less and have higher multipliers. Now, again, the problem with that is if there is a lot of blacks, I might not destroy the one that I have a multiplier on them. So... Oh, actually, I will, because I make all black into multiplier. So, yeah, scratch that. We're going to get the multiplier going. Definitely go with math. Uh, I'm going to use also Coach uh, Zombie Taker so that I do 5% more on those multiplied gems. And I put in uh, Sean here. Could be using NW Ogan. I'm going with uh, Sean instead, just because not that many people have NW Ogan. So, yeah. Don't really need the black anyway, should not be a problem to refill. So purple is more important to refill. Could be using also regular Ogin to make one more purple, but yeah, this is fine. Could have used Eddie as well, but yeah, this is gonna work fine. Eddie uh, Hall of Fame that is. All right, so we'll keep going versus Nikki. All right, so, well, her purple are ready. Let's convert on backs. Now those are gonna do 37,000 each. Destroy five. choose to get the purple and I only need six really so I don't want to overdo this I'm gonna get those and that's it but what I'm gonna do on the other end is place those in case I get this one it's gonna give me some purple Perfect. We're still on our turn. I'm gonna make more blacks and she lose on. That's the same bug that there was with the animation from the 
first China. Hopefully this one's going to get destroyed because that's going to give me purple at the same time. Eh, it did not. Oh, I got purple anyway though. <laughs> out all right I'm gonna use this right away because it's ready I only need one this time so again, I don't want to overdo it. Oh, she dodged. We're screwed. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't turn out well. Uh... Oh, did that. Oh, that's going to slow us down. Two of them right now. Oh crap, and I lost the ones I had remaining. Oh, that didn't go well. Uh, well, there's not much use doing that, but whatever. Not much left. And since I'm so close, we'll just... Do it like that. And it's over. It worked out pretty well, but we were totally screwed by that dodge that made us lose a lot of health and uh, pushed us back by like, what, two turns? But it still worked pretty well. Let's look at something else. Alright, here's the final moveset we're going to have a look at. The variation, again, of what we just did. This is what we just used. The purple, purple, and black, too. Now, what we're going to use is we're going to keep the running power slime and we're going to keep the gorilla press drop, but we're going to replace the handspring back elbow. That one... Uh, we're going to replace by the Hurricane Rana. We're going to equip that and put it right there. You could also replace it by the Pedigree, uh, which is uh, what they recommend. But I'm not a huge fan of that because, okay, it does 61k and you choose a 3x5 area. But it's kind of high cost and doesn't mean you're going to have a good 3x5 area. It's likely, but... You may get screwed. I'd rather get the 78k every turn. And we do still have the purple that gives you the black. And the black that gives you the purple to recycle those. On top of that 70k you're going to be getting each turn. Now trainers we're going to use for that. I'm going to stick with woods. Because that means I'm going to have the running power slam ready earlier. I'm going to use Balor to destroy 10 reds. Now there's a really big chance that we're never going to have 10 and we're always going to destroy less. But if we only destroy 5, it costs 8, so we're not going to get it. We would need to destroy at least 7, which if it goes for too long, we're probably going to run out of blacks in there. So you could technically go instead of Balor with Ambrose, or you could even go with uh, Daniel Bryan. But again, you don't really need that many purple to get 7, really. Or is that eight? No, it's seven. So I'm going to stick with that. If I was not using Balor, I'd probably go with Ambrose and have that Hurricane Rana do an extra 30k. Uh, but let's try like that. Coaches, I'm using again uh, DX Sean to help with that purple shawl I needed, which is probably not. And I went with uh, Hall of Fame Eddie just to get an extra there because I didn't know who else to, to use as a coach. Could have used maybe uh, Big Show NWO to have uh, uh, more blacks to start. That could have been a use. But yeah, let's go with Eddie because he's equipped. Let's try this. Uh, 
Let's get our heavy turn damage, which is down to 64k with a reduction. And as I expected, we barely have any black. So we're only going to get four out of this. So this is why I don't like destroying moves. Or at least the ones that are specific to a color. It always happens like that. Uh, and we can't match any purple either. We did get another shot of that though. Which would be a good reason to go with Ambrose instead. Because you keep getting that one back. And it's going under 64. We have the purples ready. Uh, let's. I don't need that many, so let's not risk it. I know those are gonna fall. Next turn, I'm not gonna get to do much. Exactly what I what I said was gonna happen is happening. We just don't have any blacks to destroy. I definitely liked more the version with uh, the multipliers because it offsets the fact that there might not be that many on the board. Even, there, even if there's not that many, well, they at least have a uh, multiplier on them, so we're getting like four every time instead of one. So at, if there's at least two, you're fine. Okay. This. Destroy some black and hope. No turn doesn't end. I mean, obviously it works. I mean, we even we even got the win with a pretty bad board the whole time, so clearly this does work. But I kind of like the safe net of having the multiplier instead it prevent you from getting screwed out of a bad board. So uh, definitely like that one better. I think I even like better the second one we tried. I think that one was much more reliable overall. So uh, yeah, pretty great character. I mean, she's going to be even better uh, if you have few perks and everything that boost those multipliers. I wouldn't call her top tier, uh, but she's definitely very strong, especially be being a, a striker and all. So that's it for China. Uh, if you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.